Hello YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, I want to welcome you. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you for coming back to spend time with me again today. So I am in the kitchen and I am going to be making my uh, Italian seasoning. And um, it's real easy. I will put the recipe in the description box so that you can see what um, all goes into it. I'm going to double the recipe today to make my seasoning because um, we use a lot of it. We also use it to put into our tomato sauce and so I just want to, I'm just going to double everything. So I'm um, I'm going to just read off to you what the ingredients are and I will put it in the uh, description box so that you all can, um, if you decide you want to make it, it's really easy, um, you can do so. Um, it is two tablespoons of oregano, basil, parsley, margarine, thyme, sage, actually one tablespoon of thyme, sage, rosemary, garlic minced, the minced garlic, and garlic powder, onion, minced onion, minced onion powder, and red pepper flakes. That's optional. If you want it a little spicy, then you can add the red paper, uh, pepper flakes, uh, one tablespoon one teaspoon of the red uh, pepper flakes and um, one teaspoon of black pepper and if you want it salty um, then you can add some um, salt to yours if you like um, I don't have it on my recipe because I don't add it to mine because I don't want it salty I just want it um, just a seasoning just for taste and a lot of these is my own seasoning it's like my own herb that I grew in my garden so but what I did not have went to the store and got it <laughs> so do not worry about trying to grow all of this and um, just so you could make Italian seasoning I grow it all so that I can have it to make it and use for other things but um, when you grow it, you gotta do something with it. So this is uh, one of the ways that I use my herbs um, after I harvest it. So I'm gonna move you down so while I mix all this up. So the first thing I'm gonna put into it is supposed to be two tablespoons of the oregano. This is my own oregano. Um, but um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to double this, so I'm going to use four tablespoons of it. Okay, so that's the oregano. The next is, I, this is my own basil, but I put it into container that we already had so it's two tablespoons of basil and I'm putting four two tablespoons of parsley this is my own parsley it's just in container okay and I'm gonna use Two tablespoons of marjoram. Okay. Time. I'm going to use two tablespoons of it.
good as time smells so good oh all of it does but this really does And then sage. This is some of our own sage in a sage container. Two tablespoons of sage. And this is so good you all when you're gonna make like Italian dishes of some kind spaghetti or any kind of pasta it is so good with it this is our rosemary use two tablespoons of it And I will use minced garlic, two tablespoons of minced garlic. This is not my own, but it's McCormick's. <laughs> and two tablespoons of powdered garlic. Okay. Then I'm going to use two tablespoons of minced onions. And two tablespoons of my green onion powder so I don't have any onion powder yet made for my onions but I got this onion powder green onion powder which I believe will do just as well Once I mix all this together, it's all going to look alike. And that is all that I am going to use in this. So I'm going to take this little whisk and just kind of mix this all up. powdery and you know what this is it this is how we make Italian seasoning look at that 
Isn't it good looking? It smells real good. It smells like I need to make some spaghetti. So you all, that's how I make my Italian seasoning. I'm gonna put this in the jar to store it and uh, we'll start using it. So I'll put the recipe in the description box. So if you would like to make this and uh, for your pantry, it's very easy as you can see. <laughs> so you all stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.